Hello and welcome along to another episode of this FM20 story, The Head Coach with me, Daniel. It's season 14, episode 10, and today is the big moment. We have the opportunity to dethrone Real Madrid, three back-to-back -back La Liga titles for them, and we have the chance to end that dominance today. All we have to do is beat 16th place Villarreal. We have also got good news in the Champions League as Real Madrid have just completely bottled their domestic campaign. Yes, they've beaten bottom side Zaragoza today, so they have kept themselves just in the race. But with them having just four games to play, a win today takes us 13 clear and they won't be able to catch us. But if we have a look at their recent form, we'll come back to the rest of it in a minute. They have won one of their last six games in all competitions. They bottled it against Bayern in the Champions League. A 0-0 draw away and in a defeat at home against Villalba and Vidal, players that we played against over there. Atletico Madrid at home, they lost. They've done the double over them this year. Sporting Gijon in relegation trouble, they got a point against them. And they lost at Valladolid as well. Two first half goals putting them to the sword. And they can have no complaints. It means we can rest players ahead of the Champions League final, which it looks like we're going to reach. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. So if you are looking forward for our opportunity today to win the La Liga title, our second big domestic trophy after the Premier League, of course, we've won the German Cup, we've won the Europa League, and we're still hoping to win the Champions League. But following the Copa del Rey in the last episode, we are now looking ahead with Barcelona to be in La Liga champions today. So if we don't win it in this game, we'll just go and play another one. But I feel like it could be the moment. So if you are looking forward to it, please chuck a thumbs up on it. If you haven't already and you want to stay up to date, subscribe down below for daily FM20 content. And that's particularly important in this series because the next episode could be the last one. The dream from this series, win the Champions League. And if we take you to the schedule, we have just won the first leg of our semi-final 4-0 at Lille. After brilliantly tough games in the first knockout round, in the second knockout round, the quarter-final, we have now come into the most easy game you could have really imagined at this stage. Lille are good side, but they finished in the top four of the French League once in five years. They're largely a mid-table side. They've got a Rui Alves brace, two own goals from Willian Sapanara, who I believe was their keeper. One hit him on the back of the head and went in, and one just bobbled into his hands and then he sort of dropped it out. So a proper clangor for the last one. But that has left us with no doubt that we're going to get through. And it also means we can play our first 11 today, knowing we can rest a few in midweek if needed. We've then got four first division games before the Champions League final, hopefully. And that could be the crowning moment of this series. I have already recorded the start of the next series if this one does end up this finishing this season. So don't you be worried about a lack of content on the channel. But we have got to get through Villarreal today. So there's no point speculating. We've had two brilliant La Liga results off camera. A 6-0 win at home to Real Sociedad. SEQ Navarro off the bench with a brace. That was the key moment there. And a 2-0 win at home to Celta Vigo. Ledesma getting a rare goal as we rested players for the Lille match. And Tadevo getting one as well. So into the game we go. All we have to do is win. Doesn't matter what the score is, how many it's by, or how convincing it is. And we are heavy favourites to do so. Still Almada and Joseph out with long-term injuries. We mentioned that last time round. And Renzel is out with a sports hernia at the backup keeper. But those things shouldn't affect us too much today. This is the 11 we've gone for. Giura made his comeback in midweek, so we have got a real number 10 again now. That has meant De Jong dropped down to the bench. We've also got a couple of players back to fitness. Esposito just coming in. Rui Alves has been fit again and he's made an impression when he's played. He's really improving at the moment. Almost as if he's coming into his peak. And he looks like one of the best players that's ever played for this club. His stats are starting to get quite close to Messi's. So a few more on the technical side and he might well be up there. But as it stands, we've got no complaints about his quality. Mastanov's back in goal scoring form. The back four are as good as you could possibly imagine. And I almost feel as if this side's invincible at the moment. So watch us go and lose today now. We've got Bernard in goal. Molina and Galovic the fullbacks with Armini and Tadebo the centre-halves. Louise alongside Vidal in the middle. A slight weakness perhaps, but a first real breakthrough season. He'd made one appearance for the senior team at Barcelona before we came in. And this season he's made 23. He was a crucial player in the Champions League. He's made 10 appearances and he played in the Spanish Cup final. You can't be asking for much more from him. So a really good breakthrough season for Vidal. We've got Alves and Sancho on the wings. Sancho the hero of the cup final. Been pretty poor in a couple of games since. And then of course Giura in behind Mastanov. 
just trying to get him back to fitness ahead of the last few games. So into it we go is Villarreal v Barca and a win will secure the La Liga title with plenty of time to spare. Let's go and see if we can do it. So let me know in the comments how you think we'll get on. 4-2-3-1 for our opponents. Fiakayo Tamore is at right back actually. A player from Chelsea that we know quite well. A couple of other real players in the middle. But a lot of good regens too. I'm just checking the bench for anyone else I recognise. But to be honest, as I've said before, Spanish football of the big leagues is the one I've seen the least of. So that's always a little bit harder for me. We know our team like the back of our hand though. And that's why we're on the verge of being champions. So let me know in the comments if you think we'll do it in this game. Or if you think it's going to have to wait another weekend. But the lads look confident. They look motivated. As we go through the tunnel interview to the first half against Villarreal. The goals are flowing. The form is flowing. The confidence is high. And we've got the chance to win the title. Let's go and see if we win the game. Well, if you wanted underwhelming, we're back for 20 minutes in for a highlight. Villarreal on the front foot, but there have been no shots on target in this game. Although Jura's has nicked it and is looking to change that. To Sancho, to Mastanov. Brilliant tackle by the centre-half. Mastanov still gets there, though. Crosses in, he finds Alves. And Rui Alves with his 20th of the season. Assisted by Mastanov, who has 30 goals and 2 assists. You can make that 3 now as well. What a two players they have been. I know Sancho was the star of the final, but over the whole season, those two have been unstoppable. 25 minutes gone, it's Villarreal nil, Barcelona 1. And as it stands, we're going to 91 points. 13 clear of Madrid with 4 to play, and the title should be lifted. As Jura puts Mastanov in down the left again. Beats the centre-half, beats 2. Great save by the keeper. And Manuel just gets there to clear away. And I just want to stop before this Alves free kick. Of course, this is the same universe where we manage Burnley. And we've continued with them in the live stream series. And I just want to see if this centre-half Fabio is the same man. I don't think he is, actually. So you can completely ignore me. His stats are similar, but he's a different nationality. As we've got a free kick on the right with Rui Alves. Into the back post to Tadebo. Good header, strong hand to it. And Morales keeps it out really well to his right. And he clears long downfield. To Montanez on the left. Momentarily has a bit of time, but Luis has got there and forced him back. Bawada the left back to Beltran. Switches the play, but Sancho gets there. Really good, hungry passing from the 33-year-old. Picks it up. He's got Alves right. He's going alone, though. Finds Mastanov. Mastanov makes no mistake. Fantastic finish for 2-0. 31st goal of the season. 23rd in La Liga. Just two behind Adria of Real Madrid. And we've now got to help him chase that as Alves has another set piece. Into Tadebo and he's just wide of the post. I think they said it struck the outside of the post. But it is dominance at the moment from Barca as Bawada picks it up in midfield for Villarreal. Gonzalez to Vega. Sorgic. The last thing we need is complacency and a goal back from Udo. He's in one-on-one. -on -one. It's a good save, Bernard. But that's a little bit worrying. We don't want to get caught out too easily. And the danger is not cleared yet as we've got an in-swinging corner to deal with. Gonzalez puts it in the middle. Sancho heads away, but only as far as Montanez. Tries to cross again, but it's a good block from Florentino Luis. And it looks like we're going to survive at 2-0 at half-time. Surely that's the title done. Although Villarreal have another free kick. And it's in off the bar. Oh, just over. Luis Manuel, a free header. Hits the crossbar. Thunders over. We're so lucky to get away with that. But it is the same two men that give us a comfortable lead at half-time. I'm going to tell them not to get complacent because one's looking it and a few others needed a kick up the backside. 2-0 we lead thanks to Alves and Mastanov. So often the heroes this year. And Jadon Sancho with an assist too. The three players look to be causing the title success. As Beltran comes forward for Villarreal again. They've been all them since the last 15 minutes to be honest. At the end of the first half they had a couple of great chances and they've had another few here. As Gonzalez picks it up, switches to Montanez, who beats Molina into the box. Brilliant recovery tackle. Fantastic from the wing back. Tadebo heads away to Giura. And now we can really press forward. They've committed men forward, and now Giura's coming over halfway. And he's just got to find the right pass. Into Rui Alves. Carries the ball across the pitch. Towards the left hand side, he's got Sancho with him. Going alone into the box, though. And it's a good recovery tackle from the defender. Sorgic hoofs out for a throw. And we're going to drop to positive here because we have been caught on the front foot a couple of times. We just need to stay solid at the back as well. 25 remaining. Giura's not fit yet, so we're going to give him a rest. Esposito won as the shadow striker because he needs fitness as well. Molina looks uninterested, so Pierre Martinez will come on at right back and we'll leave the last change another 10 minutes. 
And we've got a throw on the right with the sub, Martinez. Finds Louise, back to the right back. He tries to cross, but it's blocked again, and Louise will pick up possession. Has to start away again from halfway, though, sorry. Tadebo switches left. Sorgic intercepts, but only as far as Vidal. To Florentino. Back to Tadebo again. Long ball over the right to Alves. Mastanov's in the middle, but Alves goes alone. Back to Mastanov eventually. And it's blocked by the defender's legs and a hoofed away for a throw in. Villarreal holding on. A third goal would wrap it up for certain. As Martinez throws in again. Florentino Luis, lovely back heel. Martinez and Luis keeping it between them. Into Mastanov. Brilliant save the first time. And the second one's in. And that is 24 league goals for the season now. Just one behind the Real Madrid man. And of course, despite the team accolades, he will have his eye on that golden boot. So Vidal is the other one that's not quite fit yet. So I don't want to take any chances at all. But we don't really have a central midfielder bar de Jong. And looking at Rui Alves, he's really struggling physically. And he's the one we've got to wrap in cotton wool. If we get to a Champions League final, we need him there. So on a Simo on, and for 15, we'll just accept we lose some of our attacking threat. And it's a goal kick for the home side. Morales takes it to Fabio. They're playing out from the back despite the pressure. And Gonzalez switches it to the left of Beltran. He's got a man out wide, and he's got time on the ball. He's been closed down by Martinez and Luis, but neither of them really get in there quick enough. And the through ball finds Beltran again. Good run on the right by Montanez. Beats the fullback Galovic. Into the box unopposed. Gets it to Udo. And it's 3-1. The goalkeeper was in no man's land. The fullback didn't do enough to stop the cross. And Armini was beaten to it a bit easily. 3-1. The clean sheet's gone. But it is not going to ruin this day. As Barcelona lift the La Liga title. A 3-1 victory puts us 13 clear with 4 to spare. I'm almost disappointed by the way Real Madrid haven't challenged us. They've fallen away so badly this month. But we've done our job and we are deserved title winners. Two in a row. One at Chelsea. One at Barcelona. And now after winning the Europa League last year. We're chasing the Champions League to finish the series. What a fantastic year this could be. The treble is on, and after Super Cup failure early this year, we did not expect to get our hands on all three. Two down, one to go. So if we go and have a look, as the table confirms that we're champions, we have got the big C next to our name. Champions League football for Real Madrid, and it looks like almost certain for Atletico as well, and Valencia are well clear in their position too. However, we want to go and have a look at this screen, because it shows you just how well we've been doing. Real Madrid's Achilles heel has been a lack of clean sheets. None of their keepers in the top three there. We've kept 23 in 34 games. Rui Alves has got 24 assists. The next best in the league is 10. That's how good he has been. And that right winger is not bad to be fair. But Rui Alves is a cut above. He is different class that kid. And considering he's missed a few from injury. He's only actually started 25. And he's had 38 goal contributions. That is ridiculous. He's got the best average rating in the league, 8.12. Florentino Luis and Mastanov in the top three as well. And Mastanov now just one behind Adria in the golden boot race. It is going to go down to the wire. We've both got pretty lowly opposition for the next three games. And then we go head to head in El Clasico, a meaningless one on the final day of the league season. But that is not what we're going to be worrying about. Our attention now turns to the third trophy. The Champions League, the big one. The one we waited 14 years to get to and hopefully we can win it here. We got close with Gladbach with the quarter-final appearance, or was it the last 16? And we won the Europa League with Chelsea and probably would have had a go. But it is Barcelona v Lille in the second leg of the semi-final. We know we've already wrapped that up at 4-0. But let's see who we might be playing in the final. It is Bayern Munich and Roma who have won all after the first leg. It is going to be tense. Roma first in Serie A. It looks like they're going to continue their trend of first third, first third and now first again. Seven points clear with three games to go. What about Bayern Munich? Often very good when we were there. Two years in a row to finish third. They're back up to second at the moment. But I think it's still Borussia Dortmund on top. One point separating them with two to go. So I'll be interested to see how that pans out. Gladbach down to fifth now. Really struggling without us there. But let's have a quick look at the media inbox so we can see what all of the board and the fans think of us. We seem to have done well. We will have avoided the sack by winning the title. So if we don't win the Champions League and we need another year, we'll certainly have that now. So we've done the double. The Spanish Cup is won for the first time in seven years. We've won the Liga for the first time in four. And now we're chasing a first Champions League in eight. Alves is close to his goal bonus, as is Mastanov, of course. 
and we are now one of the top English managers. We're in the Hall of Fame, and a Champions League will certainly help that. So we are now 8th on the list. We've won League 1 with Salford, the Championship with Burnley, the German Cup with Borussia Mönchengladbach, we've won the Europa League and Premier League with Chelsea, and now the Spanish Cup and the La Liga title with Barcelona. A Champions League would chuck us up to third place, I believe, just behind Clough and Paisley, and that would be an incredible way to finish. However, we've got Xavi praising us again first, we've got the board praising us again, and we've got loads of medals being handed out for lots of good players making lots of appearances. Plenty of positives at the moment as Mastanov will get the praise again, and Barcelona now all gearing up to the Champions League final. So the crucial thing for us is to avoid injuries, to get Almada back, to get Joseph back, to get our best footballers back on the pitch and get them some game time if possible. We've got five games to do so. We're 4-0 up into the second leg of the Champions League semi-final. The job is professionalism. Make sure there's no scares. Make sure we're in that final against Roma or Bayern. We then face Valladolid, Zaragoza, Granada and Real Madrid, all in meaningless La Liga games where fitness and keeping ourselves in form and confident is the only aim of the day. Mastanov's golden boot race, we will continue to chase that. And let's see just how many assists Alves can get. But he won't be playing more than an hour in any game now. Let's very quickly finish with a press conference, just to see if they say anything about our title success that we don't expect them to say. I don't think they will, to be honest. We're working under pressure, we were expected to do well, and it just looks like they're praising the big two. So the two players are the stars, Alves and Mastanov, coming to the rescue in the league where Sancho did in the cup final. And we will be back 99% certainly for a Champions League final. It will be either Bayern or Roma and it will be in about a month's time. And it will be possibly the final episode of the series. So if you are looking forward to that and you did enjoy seeing us wrap up the La Liga title, please do put a thumbs up on the video. Let me know what you make of Madrid in the last month because for me that's been really disappointing. I expected this to be a tougher test than England and it's ended up being quite easy. Real Madrid won it three times in a row and they just wilted in all competitions. So that's something that has surprised me a little. But as it stands, we're in a really good position. So if you want to make sure you see that Champions League final, subscribe to the channel and turn that notification bell on. You'll get alerts as daily FM20 content releases, including the Champions League final on Tuesday. After our live stream in the morning, of course. So you can come along and chat to us live in that one if you wish to. It really would be great to have as many of you there as possible, as it's something I absolutely love doing. Of course, in the meantime, our Macclesfield Town series continued earlier today and continues tomorrow, the weekend slots at 1pm, and the stadium review series tomorrow at half four before Dorking Wanderers. The new season continues on Monday at the same time. Finally, I'm part of a podcast that does interviews, match day vlogs, predictions and podcasts as well. So please do come and check us out in the eye above. We're growing really quickly. I've seen so many of you go over and I can't thank you enough for your incredible support. But a big thanks for watching this one and your continued support with the series. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time for the Champions League final and possibly the final game of the series. Can we complete the treble? Let me know what you think will happen below. <laughs>